He's a correction to do. Whoa! <laughs> my shoe my heel stuck in the ground. <laughs> it went over. Look at something be louder? John. Oh my god, you're gonna make me cry again all day. No, turn around real quick, eh? standing because there is no seats. Um, uh, welcome everybody. Welcome everyone to this beautiful evening. Can everybody hear me on Zoom? I see some thumbs up. Everyone puts thumbs up. It's, it's, it's global. It's global. The world. Yeah. You're Penny and yep. Penny. Yep. All right, here we go. I'm going to speak up very, very loud so the uh, computer can hear me. So I'm not yelling at you all or the kids, but I am talking loud. You can yell at my kids. Welcome everybody to this beautiful evening in the backyard. <laughs> this is the backyard located Literally. in Rancho Marietta. Danny, happy birthday. I wish, I wish we could sing you happy birthday, but we have some more important things to do per Kindle. All right? Of course. <laughs> Danny. Morales? Yes. I love that name. Kendall Teague? Yeah. We're here this evening <laughs> to perform a ceremony of love. <laughs> Was this destiny? Yes. Total dumb luck? Yes. <laughs> Who cares? Right? The important thing is, it's happening. Danny and Kendall are getting married right now. No, really. Right now. This is, this is happening. I have no idea. So hopefully everybody has a cocktail, a soda pop, because it's now story time. And tissue. Uh, allergies. Uh, it's allergies, people. Are Would you like to do it first? Yes. Would you, who put this on? I can. All right, stay a little bit. We want to stay in the Zoom. This is one of those universal uh, type weddings, so you can grab both your hands. There you go. Do not kiss. Okay. Everybody, my name is Matt Foley. <laughs> but I do live in a van down by the river. Over here. Um, but my name is Eric, and Kendall asked me to perform the ceremony, and I'm quite honored. Thank you. <laughs> so a little story time for you all, for the, all of you that don't know Danny and Kendall that well, because I learned a lot of neat things about Kendall and Danny. But Danny and Kendall both have known each other since 1989. 
Kendall was 13 years old, Danny was 17. Nothing happened, everyone. Just <laughs> when they met, Mr. when they knew Rowan, each other. He drinks beer. It was a small town of Etna, mm -hmm. California. Yes. Population was 900 for Kendall. <laughs> I checked it. It's 720, honey. We all left. We all left. Not much going on up there. 720. Everybody that's there, stay there. Um, Danny was the new transfer from San Diego, but everyone thought he was a corn exchange student. Uh, given the high school was predominantly white. Oh, God. None of the students locked their cars. They had gun racks with guns in them in the pickup trucks. Anyone could walk down the middle of the street at 3 a.m. without a care in the world. Danny, on the other hand, would lock up his motorcycle, people. He even bought a padlock for his school locker. He had a padlock. But Kendall remembers seeing this tall guy walking down the high school hallway with two mohawks. His jeans were tucked into his motorcycle boots. Black leather motorcycle jacket thrown over his shoulder. But he remembered Kendall with the big hair. Had a mullet. <laughs> And apparently Kendall's smile caught his attention because that's when Kendall would look at him. Her eyes just kind of took over the rest. Is that true? Yes. All right. Very good. Oh, my God. Three, no, I know it all, bro. I got it all. Three years later, Danny and, his, Danny and all his lumberjack friends moved literally across the street from Kendall. They had fast cars, late night parties, yes. long days falling trees and being boys. Yes. When they moved in, though, Kendall's stepdad, the town sheriff, Mr. Mellon, <laughs> said, don't talk to those boys. They drink beer. I don't know if he talks like that, but he did that. <laughs> and Kendall did not talk to them, per se. Well, Kendall left Adna at 17 years old for college and never looked back. Danny moved back to San Diego to raise kids and continue his life there. They did lose touch. In 2017, Kendall's stepbrother Troy came to San Diego. She lived there for three years to help her move on to her next chapter in life. Troy posted a photo of himself in the backyard, his feet up were in the pool, living the good life. Danny saw it and immediately wanted to reconnect with his buddy from high school. So he asked him to lunch. Troy and Danny love social media, obviously, because here we are today. Kendall decided, oh, I'll tag along. That's interesting, but I'll tag along and invited her own friend so she and her could catch up before she moved on. Long story short, oh, move all your phones, please. I forgot to make that display. I'm just joking, not you. That's people texting you right now. No. What are you doing? No. Um, no. I'm, I'm reading my phone. Are we gonna confiscate your phone? Long story short, they be, uh, hold on. That one good? Confident. Kendall decided to tag along and invite her own friend. She could tag along and catch up. Long story short, they began reminiscing and Danny asked Troy, what happened to that hot girl, Kendall T? And Troy replied, my sister? <laughs> Danny replied with, she is your sister? <laughs> we had different last names. Troy laughed and replied, yes, she's my sister. And she's sitting right over there, about 10 feet away. <laughs> so Troy, of course, invited a small group of people over to Kendall's house that evening, right before it was time to uh, close escrow. And Danny showed up with a bottle of wine and flowers. Kendall's closing date was pushed back a week, so of course Danny said, you want to go to Mexico for a few days? Troy trusted him, and Kendall went. On only three hours notice, she was packed and ready to go and hit the road. That's Kendall. <laughs> That's Kendall. Four days later, Kendall chose to move to Montana, as she planned, and he stayed in San Diego. She was there for less than three months and then moved back to San Diego to explore them, which is us, which is Danny and Kendall. Ultimately, after a year and experiencing the world of Mexico with them, she was ready to leave San Diego again. It just wasn't a good fit for her. She missed her best friend, Don, and her godkids, Don, Liliana, Luke, and Lawson. He needed to stay in San Diego and wanted to stay. Given that was his home, and he was still raising a daughter. So they parted ways. I love these stories, though. They're awesome. Over the next three years, they continued a spiritual connection that couldn't be broken. And Danny was still Bodhi's papa and part of the family. So he would come visit upon occasion, but the timing and the geography just never added, just never added up until of May of 2021. Gotta love a COVID year, right? 21, here we go. It was Bodie's birthday, and it had been almost a year mm -hmm. since they had seen each other. It was time, and they missed each other. 
So Dana came for the visit that changed both of their futures. On May 27, 2021, Kendall picked up Danny at the airport. Something had shifted. You remember that day, huh? Danny had grown up. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Better, better. Kendall had grown up. Yes. They had both changed as people became healthier, stronger, and individually. Both of them could finally live their lives on their own, independently without the need for anyone else to make them happy. Everything ignited again. So Danny went back to San Diego after that trip, got his resume in order, lined up an interview, came back, and after they went on the interview together, that's awesome. <laughs> Danny promptly stated, I'm not living my life without you anymore. And when I asked him what that meant, Kendall said, I'm sorry, Danny said, I'm going to do it the right way this time. I'm coming to you. I'm marrying you, and we're going to finally live our lives together. <laughs> So I asked, in return, Kendall said, like the white dress kind of thing? <laughs> and his answer was, yeah. So Kendall and Danny, this is the vows time. I'm gonna read it slow to you. Hopefully you can repeat it back to me, okay? You got this, I know you've, you've been prepared for this. Brother, I got you. I was not prepared for Kendall. <laughs> so Danny, please repeat this vow to Kendall. <clears throat> I, Danny. I, Danny. Take you, Kendall. Take you, Kendall. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. I promise to love and cherish you. I have promised to love and cherish you. <laughs> Kendall. Yes. <laughs> Repeat this vow to Danny, okay. unless you've memorized it. Uh, I have not. Okay. <laughs> I, Kendall. I, Kendall. Take you, Danny. Take you, Danny. Little Danny. <laughs> uh, to be my husband. Whoa, wait a minute, that's a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. <laughs> I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. <laughs> All right. So, Danny. Yes. At this time. Oh, what? Yes, oh, you get no. to do something here. That's not, he's not putting okay. it on you, Danny. Relax. Mm -hmm. I oh. want you to take that ring mm -hmm. and place it on Kendall's finger. Mm -hmm. She'll help you. Shaking everyone. Danny. Yes. Do you take Kendall to be your wife, promising to love her, comfort her, honor, <laughs> respect, and care for her for the rest of your life? Yes. I do. I do. <laughs> I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Kendall. Yes. Place that ring on Danny's finger, please. Nice. Kendall, do you take Danny, Danny Lito, to be your husband, yes. promising to love yep. him, comfort him, yep. Yep. honor, yep. respect, yep. and care for him for the rest of your life? Yep, yep. <laughs> Extra credit. Yep, yep. So, Kenny and Danny, please face me oh the best you can. I want to, um, you know what, face everybody, it'd be easier. Yes. I want you to enjoy your face. I like that. Oh. Kendall and Danny, you see love is fluid. Like everything else in life, it is subject to change. The love you feel today is very different than the love you felt when you first met in 1989. <laughs> or that day. The love you feel today will be different than the love you feel when you celebrate your one year anniversary with Bodie and your 10th and beyond. Love is more than a feeling get when someone makes your heart happy. Love is your heart remembering the history you share with one another during times that are tough and somehow getting through those tough times makes the good times all the more lovely. After this evening you will become best friends. Love each other each and every day. Live every day with full hearts and your bond will grow even stronger with time. Good luck to both of you all. Danny, yes. at this time I'm going to get out of this picture, but give me a second. 
At this time, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Assistance of the great wireless connection of the internet and the state of California. It is my pleasure, raise them up, to present for the very first time to you, Mr. and Mrs. Morales. Listen, I'm not a damn good